Let's review a monthly plush again. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Lizzie and I'm a Disney plush collector from the UK. So happy Saturday, I hope you're all having a great weekend so far. I was going to do a house video this week, but one, I haven't had time to edit it, and two, we've had a monthly collection drop on our doorstep again. Now I feel like an idiot because I actually cut this clip from my Mickey Mouse the main attraction video that if you didn't see that I'll leave a card up above, but I took this part out because before the video went out they released a monthly collection and in this clip I was saying how I didn't think they were going to do one because we were already through some of the year and nothing had been announced because normally they're announced in the January and start in the January. So here is that clip. So I have had some conversations with people on my Instagram Lizzie and Disney about the fact that Disney are quite clearly not doing a monthly collection this year. I think they are too busy with Disney 100 and rightfully so. I have seen monthly Pandora releases and things, but there doesn't appear to be a collection that matches Mickey Memories, Wisdom, Stitch Crashes Disney and the Main Attraction collections. But I am perfectly okay with that because I didn't have room for another 12 plush series. But I was wrong because in March they announced the Decades collection which is going to be 10 months so it's not a problem at all that it started in March because it will still finish in December at least for the US probably. So the US got this on the 20th of February so theirs will probably finish in November whereas the UK got the first collection on the 20th of March which is when the US got the second collection. So we are a month behind, I don't know whether we'll ever catch up but the good thing is when I talk about next month I do already have the picture from the US so we can discuss that whereas with my Mickey Mouse The Main Attraction videos I often didn't know what the next month was going to look like to talk about with you. So for some context on this collection, they are going to be doing the Decades collection which spans the 100 years so there will only be 10 releases. So they've started with the 1920s which of course is going to be Steamboat Willie. Later Decades are going to call on more films and shorts so I will get on to that when we talk about the 1930s which is the release that the US had when we had the 1920s release and at the time of filming there isn't a release date for the 1930s in the UK but I'm hoping it kind of follows the same schedule as the US that the day they get the 1940s we will get the 1930s which would mean it would be towards the end of April. So like I said, we got this on the 20th of March. I originally wasn't going to order this because my dad was recovering from surgery and couldn't take in parcels, but he seemed to get a bit better before we went to Disneyland Paris, so I ordered it. Because of the time difference, I completely forgot and didn't order it until it had been out about 45-50 minutes, but luckily none of the collection sold out, and obviously I only wanted the plush. It's only really the lounge fly and the ears that have the risk of selling out in minutes but even they didn't and if I could have afforded it I would have had the lounge fly bag as well because it was really pretty. But I just got the plush, they arrived in a bag which you will see in my final vlog because when I got home it was here waiting for me so I opened it. But there was a bit of bagception going on because it was in the Shop Disney bag, it is in another plastic bag and then it is in a mesh bag as well. So this is how it arrived, luckily nothing looks too bent, the hat is fine and everything. Without further ado, let's do a plush review. So I'm just going to get them out of their little baggie. So every plush is going to come in this mesh drawstring bag that says Disney 100 Decades on it. I do like it, but I'm not going to display them in the bag, so they're probably just going to be put in my wardrobe or something. But there are two plushes. So let's get them out of this little drawstring bag. I don't know how it opens. Okay, it's just elasticated for you to get them out. And the tag is actually on the bag, so you know which one's which. So it says Disney 100 Decades Plush. It doesn't say which one it is, but you know when you open it up. So it says Steamboat Willie, Full Steam Ahead, premiering November 18th, 1928. The famous Steamboat Willie cartoon introduced the icon we all know and love, Mickey Mouse. 
This black and white film was also the first cartoon to use fully synchronised sound. With a charming whistling lead at the helm and the introduction of new audio technology, this film steered the Walt Disney Company to immense success. And then it's got a bit about the Decades collection itself. So it says Disney 100 Decades, travel back in time through the last 100 years of the Walt Disney Company with this enchanted limited series. Crafted by Disney artists, this collection offers a chance to celebrate our most beloved characters and how they come to life on screen. From the 1920s onward, every decade captures hearts and imaginations all over again. Go on a magical journey through the years with pieces that embrace the dreamer in us all. So I like that it's on the bag, but obviously the plush are coming out of the bag. So how is this gonna work? Cause I think they're holding hands. Okay, so they can come out of the bag. They're not like tied to it or anything, which is good. I've got some bent ear action going on. So what is it? This is the Mickey and Minnie Steamboat Willie Disney 100 Decades Small Soft Toy Set. They were sold on Shop Disney UK. They were released on the 20th of March and they were £35 for the two of them. Because the US has already had its next release and they were also $45 because these were $45. I am led to believe that every month each set will be £35. So it has increased in price. The Mickey Mouse The Main Attraction plushes were £32 each. We can come to expect this, but I'm just hoping the quality rises as well as the price, because obviously with the cost of living going up, we all want to have value for money. So you get two plushes for this range and 1930s is going to be three. So wait till the end when I start to talk about that. They are connected with a little piece of plastic on the one finger. So it looks like they are holding hands. Mickey and Minnie are dressed as they would have appeared in the short Steamboat Willie because even though we say this launched Mickey Mouse's career, it also launched Minnie's career as well. So we need to remember that. Their sculpt is the vintage style. We haven't got pie eyes because pie eyes are a relatively newer thing. They are black, white and grayscale as they would have appeared in the short because the short was black and white. They are very soft but also very sturdy as well and their details are embroidered onto them. So there's buttons on Mickey's shorts and there's I think buttons as Minnie's bra. I wouldn't say it is a bra, it looks like it's meant to be buttons. They're made from polyester fibres and ethylene vinyl acetate foam, which I don't know whether that is the clothes they're wearing because it's a texture I can't quite put my finger on what it is. It feels harder than normal plushes. I don't know whether this is deliberate to kind of mimic what they would have been made of back then because they definitely feel firmer and the texture of the clothing is rougher and the body is rougher. It's only really the shoes that are a texture that I'm used to. They have no stamps on the feet which is disappointing but I suppose the bag is in place of the stamp which is a shame because I would have loved the Disney 100 logo on them. Okay I didn't notice they have this little series one of ten on their leg with the Disney 100 logo. I really love the details on them. Minnie's even got a flower on her hat and Mickey's hat has got some embroidery as well. It does frustrate me that the bag isn't big enough to cover his hat. It is sticking out of the bag but I imagine the bag is a uniform size but I could be wrong and we will see that with the 1930s. The dimensions of these are 26 centimeters height, 15 centimeters width and 15 centimeters depth. I assume that's each although Mickey should be taller on account of his hat so maybe they've just gone by Mickey's height I'm not 100% sure. When I'm filming in the new house I should really get out a tape measure and measure these to see if they're exact but I wonder whether this bag will be the same size for each one and every single one will fit into these bags. I need to get a tag protector for this because I'll be honest with it just hanging from the bag like that, it's going to get damaged and it kind of already has a little bit. So I do need to get tag protectors. If you want to know what tag protectors I use, I have an affiliate link down in the description. But it's a nice bag, it's just a weird way of displaying them because no one's going to display them like that. I don't actually know where they're going to live currently, that's future Lizzie's problem, but, but they won't be in the bag so the tag should have perhaps been on one of their hands. But the big question is, are they worth the money? So they work out to be about $17.50 each, obviously with the next month with there being three, the cost per plush will go down. And if there was one that was just on its own, that would be really expensive. 
But I think for two, that's a reasonable price. If they did, you know, goofy memories or something this year and they'd been £35, I would have been mad spending £35 on each one. But when there's more plushes and they go together and they're really lovely, because they are, then I do think they are worth the money. It's a really nice collection to celebrate the company and I can't wait to see the rest of the plush. So I'm just going to put these back in their bag and then we're going to talk about the 1930s. So if their feet are completely to the floor, his hat is sticking out. The only reason I can see that this is happening is because the bags are uniform. But I don't know how they're going to fit three pigs in the exact same bag. So next month, I need to get that one back out and see whether the bags are the same. So, like I said, with the 1920s, everything was Steamboat Willie. Because that was obviously the big thing in the 1920s. That was the very first animation that was released that synchronised sound. Steamboat Willie was obviously what made Mickey Mouse famous, even though that wasn't actually the first short that was recorded. That was Plain Crazy, which was actually released afterwards. They could have also done something with Oswald, but as Oswald has his own collection in the Disney 100 range, I suppose they decided against that. But as we are going into further decades, there are going to be multiple iconic releases. So for the 1930s, You've got a Snow White headband because Snow White came out in 1937. And then you've got a Loungefly backpack for the band concert, which is actually my favourite Mickey Mouse short. And then you've got Clarabelle and Horace as the pin set. And then you've got the Three Little Pigs for the plush. So every month is going to be really hard to predict now. I'm really excited because the pictures that they showed of the decades did have the Aristocats for the 1970s. So if we don't get the three kitties when we've had the Three Little Pigs, I will be so mad. But I am going to be getting those Three Little Pigs when they release. They released on the 20th of March in America, so I'm hoping that they will release on the 20th of April over here. If I know the date by the time this video goes up, I'll drop it in the comments, but it's best to just follow me on my Instagram, Lizzie and Disney, to get that information. So that is it from me, my first plush review of the Decades collection. I was a little bit stressed when they announced that there's going to be a monthly collection, because of course I'm going to collect it, but I don't have that much room for any more monthly collections, which you will see when you start to see my house. But like I said, I love that this celebrates the company and I'm really excited to see what plushes we get from this collection. I'm really tempted to do my predictions. I could do that as a YouTube short. I just really hate being wrong, so I don't know whether I'm going to do that. But that is it from me. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below whether you've bought this plush. If you haven't, there will be an affiliate link in my description, so visit that if you would like to buy the plush. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on Tuesday for a normal video. Bye friends!